Hello, my name is Ellie Brown and I'm a graduating senior. Welcome to the graduation of the Beverly High School class of 2019. It's my pleasure to welcome Mayor Cahill, Dr. Hershey, Dr. Tarochak, our principal, Mrs. Taylor, City of Beverly school committee members, school administrators, educators, staff, family, friends, and soon to be high school graduates to today's event. I've attended BHS for all four years of high school. This past year, I made the transition from sports to music. I went from a newly elected varsity captain to playing second chair tuba, and I couldn't be happier. I was met with a group of people that accepted anything and anyone. So, music department, I'm talking to you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me an innumerable, an innumerable amount of new friends who, along with many old ones, made me wish my senior year could last forever. You've made me the happiest I've been in a long time. 
I found that it's truly inevitable that high school will change you. When you start high school, you're entering unfamiliar territory. It seems terrifying, stepping into something new, when really, it is terrifying. There's nothing wrong with being fearful of change. A little skepticism is healthy. But change doesn't need to be upsetting. Of course, it comes with its consequences, but they must be experienced in order for one to grow. I believe that change is the key to growth. Nothing can remain the same forever. Change, however daunting it may seem, must be accepted with outstretched, albeit hesitant arms. Embrace it warmly, for change will always move forward, bringing you along with it. Don't resist the changes to come. Take control of your future by accepting change. Don't be afraid of the unknown. You never know what may change your life in a good way. Thank you. <laughs> um, first off, I'd like to say welcome. Welcome to our graduates, beloved family members and friends, honored guests, and Superintendent Hershey. I'm so pleased to be up on this stage speaking in front of all of you today. My name is Beatrice Crocker, and it's been my absolute pleasure to serve as the class of 2019 president for the last three years. There are a few choice people I'd like to thank this afternoon. First, to my fellow class officers, Colin, Sam, and George, Thank you for writing countless Facebook posts, early mornings and late nights at BHS for fundraisers, and calming down our classmates pretty much any time we announced any information whatsoever. <laughs> Next, a big thank you to our class advisor, Ms. Mary Biggis, for devoting so much of her time, resources, and patience to this class. Yeah. I can confidently say that we wouldn't have been as successful in our four years at BHS as we were without you guiding us every step of the way. Lastly, I would like to give an enormous thank you to my parents. I know I kept myself very busy during high school, and there's no way I would have made it out alive without your endless support and encouragement to persevere in the face of hardship. For those of you who don't know, I have a brother at BHS. He's a junior, and I've been so grateful to share four of, three of my four years with him. For those of you that do know about Finn, you probably know that we're polar opposites as far as high school goes. Finn was a starter for varsity hockey his freshman year. He has a dozen boys over to watch the game on any given night, and he's a three-season athlete. As for myself, I sang in the choirs, played the cello, organized fundraisers, and spent late hours in the auditorium doing back-to-back -back rehearsals. However, even though one of us is a popular hockey star who knows the entire BHS population, and the other an insanely busy music student, I'm confident when I say that both of us, as well as our sister, a 2011 grad who stuck to drumline and field hockey, are all leaving this community with the exact same skill set and maturity to begin our journey into adulthood. We formed meaningful relationships with teachers who wanted us to grow, learn, and succeed. We found our niche inside a group of supportive friends, and we'll leave this school with a village of people on our side, encouraging us to reach and challenge our limits. Something I will always commend Beverly High School for is its impressive display of diversity among students and their interests. And although I'm proud to say that all of our student speakers today are devoted music department leaders, it's by no means representative of our class's extracurricular activities. We are dedicated National Honor Society members, peer leaders, political activists, athletes, talented musicians and artists, photographers, DECA students, model UN representatives, and so much more. To my fellow graduates who make up this wonderfully diverse community, I hope that you too found your niche at Beverly High School. And now that it's time to leave our community, I trust we all have the skills to begin our own journeys, remembering always that Beverly will be here waiting for us. Thank you. Eleanor and Beatrice, thank you for your wonderful words. To everyone here in the stadium today, good afternoon. To you folks right over there with the black and orange gowns and the caps, are you ready? Good, good, then we'll, then we'll try to get out of the way. I'll try to get out of the way. Uh, good afternoon, soon to be graduates of the Beverly High School class of 2019, and congratulations. 13 years of school from kindergarten all the way through to today. And here you sit. You can be proud. You have worked hard to be here. 
as a group and as individuals, you have already done many impressive and cool things. And we know that you are just getting started. One day, you and your generation will be running this city, this country, and this world. You will be a force for good in the lives of others. In many ways, you already are. We need for you to keep going and to keep growing. Two thoughts I'd like to share with you. First, at the intersection of hard work and passion, you may find some great things in your life. Hard work is a given. Everything worth achieving requires it. Everything. And since it is always easier to work hard at something that you love doing, I recommend you do everything you can to discover your passions. When you do, follow them. Learn everything you can about them. Being passionate about something positive and good can help you find your way in the world, can bring you joy and personal fulfillment for a lifetime, and may also just be your way to make a living. In the words of the late Maya Angelou, pursue the things you love doing and then do them so well that people cannot take their eyes off of you. Second, well, there is a world out there for you to explore and experience, and much that you can and will accomplish, we're here today, and today is yours to savor. So enjoy your day, graduates. Be proud. Celebrate yourselves. And as you do, please remember, each one of you graduates has people people who have been there for you, who have helped hold you up when you've needed support, people who are sitting here in the stadium today, and some who cannot be here. And these people, your people, are your family. Whatever form your family takes and however you define your family, they are truly bursting with pride and with joy because they know that you are going to walk across this stage in a few minutes and receive your high school diploma. Your family, and each of you graduates know who yours are, love you deeply. So please graduates, as you celebrate today, make sure you thank your family and tell them that you love them. If they are here, make sure that you give them a big hug and a big kiss. Don't be stingy with those hugs and kisses today. And if they're not able to physically be here today, please take a moment to think of them and then so send thoughts of love their way. That hug, that I love you, it matters to you and to them. So on behalf of your proud hometown, this great city of Beverly, congratulations Beverly High School class of 2019 graduates and all the very best to you all. Good afternoon. Ms. Taylor is on a roll. This is another beautiful day. Congratulations, as if she had something to do with it. I would like to extend a warm welcome from the Central Office Administrators and Staff to Mayor Cahill, school committee members, and elected officials. I would like to also recognize Ms. Taylor, the administrators, teachers, and staff of Beverly High School, as well as all of the staff and teachers and administrators from the Beverly Public Schools. To parents, guardians, family, friends, and of course, to the graduating class of 2019. While this is a day for all of us to celebrate, we would not be here without you. There will be other important days to come in your life, but this one has special place in acknowledging your accomplishments of the past 13 years. As superintendent and former high school principal and teacher, this day and the pomp and circumstances surrounding graduation remain very special to me. Your robes symbolize the work of all of the teachers and staff who have committed their lives to helping you achieve your goals. They symbolize the hard work and commitment of your families and friends to help you be successful. They're a sign of your accomplishments. Wear your robes with pride. 
Over the past several years, we have witnessed the successes of the class of 2019. Your participation and leadership in co- and extracurricular activities, your academic achievements, and community service have been remarkable. We want to thank you for enriching our lives as we witnessed your growth and achievement throughout the years. Each class puts its stamp on a school and a community. I want to thank those of you who have participated in the senior clap out at each elementary school. To those students, you are rock stars. You have joined the classes before you in building a tradition that is uniquely Beverly High School. And to your families, it seems like yesterday that you were entering kindergarten. As you leave us and take on your next adventure, remember the lessons you learned in Beverly. Remember the camaraderie of your fellow classmates. Your friendships will last a lifetime, even when you go your separate ways. Remember the performances on stage and on the playing field that helped you learn to work together for a common goal and deal with both the successes and losses together. Remember the classes and teachers that challenged you to be better and work harder as you prepare for your future. Remember your families. They have been with you every step of the way to the, and to those of you who face significant challenges along the way, remember how you persevered in order to be here today. Remember who helped you, but remember more your own resilience as you receive your diploma today. As you all look to your future, I believe you are up to the task ahead. I could speak about academic challenges you will face, or the challenges of military service, or the challenges of entering the workforce. But I would really like to challenge you to take on civic responsibility. You are important to our future locally and nationally. This class has been active politically. You need to continue this work. We need you. During your time in Beverly, you have demonstrated that you care about others, embracing differences as strengths, and respect for all as a core belief. We need that in this country today. We seem to have lost sight of the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I believe you have the power to help us recenter our focus on respect for all. I have a lot of faith in you and the strength of your character. I too will be leaving Beverly this year. I want to thank all of you for allowing me the privilege of being superintendent in Beverly. It is a special place with special people who care. No other community I have worked in focused so much attention on education. No community shows greater pride in their students than Beverly. The attendance at plays, concerts, athletic contests, the participation in PTOs and boosters, the support for the REACH Senior Internship Program, all of this is extraordinary. As you leave graduation today, stop and thank someone who helped you to be ready for this graduation. There are many to choose from. Your family, your parents, your teachers, your friends, and your administrators. And finally, your community. Remember, you are a product of the Beverly community, and you are a representative of this community no matter where your future takes you. Today, Beverly is proud of the class of 2019. You are our future, and I believe our future is in great hands. Good luck. Remember what helped you to be here today, and above all, stay safe. Congratulations again. Thank you. Here we are, graduation, the culmination of over a decade's worth of hard work, persistence, and determination. We are about to close this huge chapter in our lives and open another, and in the coming years we will have the opportunity to choose our own paths in life. But lest we take for granted the freedom that we have been given, I'd like to take this time to remember those who gave it to us. Growing up, my grandfather was the youngest of five living children. At age seven, his father died, and at age 17, he dropped out of high school to join the Navy. Upon his return, he joined the Nashville Fire Department, attending night school to obtain an associate's in fire science before he eventually became a dist district chief. 
Along with his job as a firefighter, my grandfather was always working one or two additional jobs for more than 30 years. Small jobs, such as repairing washing machines and custodial work at the post office and church, but jobs nonetheless that he would enable him to give his family a better life. He did not complete high school himself, but it was and is extremely important to him that his two daughters and three grandchildren leave high school with a diploma in hand. His incredible hard work proved invaluable as he gave my mother and my aunt the life that he did not have, which allowed them to graduate not only from high school, but from college as first generation college students. Moving down a generation, I see every day how hard my mom and my dad work, both in their jobs and as parents. And I can truthfully and without a doubt say that I would not be standing here today if it had not been for the hard work of my parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents before them. All this to say, the simple truth of our accomplishment today lies in the fact that our effort and our perseverance alone would not have been enough to get us to this point. Most of us can name at least one person in our life who helped pave the way for us to achieve what we have achieved. But on a larger scale, the generations before us have molded and shaped the world into what it is today. The freedom we have had to devote ourselves to a season of learning and preparation, and the freedom we now have to decide for ourselves what our own path will be did not come freely. These freedoms are a result of years worth of hard work by our mothers, our fathers, our grandparents, and so on. So before we take this first big step into our future, let us take a moment and say thank you. Hug the one who cooked you Campbell's chicken noodle soup every time you were sick over the years and say thank you. Look to the one who proofread your essays, checked over your math homework, helped with your science project and say thank you. Call your grandfather, your grandmother, your aunt, your uncle, your guardian, your soccer coach, your best friend's mother, whoever it is who has made that difference in your life and make sure to say thank you for their part in creating your future. Think about the history that led up to this moment and recognize what you have been given. However, it is not enough to simply say thank you. We now have a responsibility to use what we have been given to continue the tradition and help give the generations to come a future. Let us show our appreciation by making the world a better place. Yes, it's a cliche, but there is a reason that something like that is said often enough for it to come across as cliche. It is because for all that we have achieved and celebrate this day, what matters most now is what we do with that, what we have been given. This class, the Beverly High School class of 2019, is full of potential, just like so many classes before us. And the good news, I guess, is that this world of ours is broken enough that this potential does not have to go to waste. We need to use our talents to address the impossible problems we are faced with, such as climate change, the thousands of kids currently in the foster care systems, and the persistent inequalities that plague society today. So on this day, when we celebrate all that we have accomplished together, let us commit ourselves to looking back and saying thank you by looking forward to shape a better future. Congratulations to the BHS class of 2019. When I was a young boy, my mom used to tell me that the world didn't revolve around me. And for all of her lack of an astrophysics degree, she was right. Our class, the Beverly High School class of 2019, is singular. We are 285 unique and deeply interesting individuals, any one of which you could study for a lifetime and fall short of truly understanding. But we are just one of 37,100 high schools across the nation and just 285 of over 3 million graduating seniors. The world won't wait for us. With or without us, no matter what we do, others will go on to do great things. Some will build meaningful lives. Others will improve the world in ways both tangible and not. Others yet will find success or happiness or maybe even both. So why not us? Why not us? Why shouldn't we have those things? What's holding us back? Really, all I think we need is a little time to mess up. We've failed in ways big and small. We've invested hours and hours training only to have athletic seasons end early in disappointment. We've traveled across the nation 
for competitions, only to fall short in the end. And that is important. Because of precisely this, out of all those tens of thousands of graduating classes across the nation, I feel a unique optimism for this class. I believe in our class's potential to fail. Each time we fail, we take a small step towards something. Not success necessarily, but something. When, in a third grade game of basketball, I excitedly shot the ball into my own basket, it certainly wasn't a step towards success. But I quickly learned a lesson, namely, that perhaps basketball wasn't the sport for me. And that's the only way forward. When we put ourselves out there, when we make ourselves vulnerable to the real possibility of failure, we learn what we like and what we don't. We pull ourselves closer to the things we love. And we teach ourselves to ignore the paralyzing fear of failure. The sort that turns legs to jelly and sends voices wavering, just like mine is right now. And listen instead to the fear of, what if I don't? This voice speaks to all the opportunities that we will let pass by if we listen to that first fear. It describes the successes that lay within our grasp. This is the fear that tells us success might be hiding behind our very next failure. And so, despite my promises to not use any quotes, I'm going to borrow the words of the great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who said, change does not roll in on the wheel of inevitability, but comes through continuous struggle. So let's make ourselves uncomfortable. Let's face failure. The world is changing. We might as well change with it. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2019.
Good afternoon, class. Whoop, let me wait till the band goes back. Good afternoon, class of 2019, parents, friends, grandparents, teachers, faculty, and administration. On behalf of the Beverly School Committee, congratulations on your graduation, on your graduation day. You have worked hard to be in that seat today. It is a day to reflect not only on all that you have accomplished, but also on your future ahead. Please remember to take a moment to thank the people who supported you on that journey. When I was thinking about a theme for today and what I might say to you, one word kept rising to the top of my mind. The word is bittersweet. Bittersweet, as defined by Webster's Dictionary, is being partly bitter or sad and partly sweet or happy. Today may feel bittersweet to you. It certainly does to me, as this is my last graduation speech as your school committee president. For your families, bittersweet might describe what is running through their heads as they remember you through your school years up until today, where you go off to prove yourselves as adults in the world. This moment is sweet in that you are with friends and are happy to be graduating high school. Yet it's bitter in that many of you will be leaving your friends soon for college, work, the military, and other ventures that will broaden your world and your friendships. Today is bitter in the fear and anxiety about what is yet to come in your lives, and it's sweet to know how much you have experienced and how much you have grown. Today is bitter in saying goodbyes to the teachers who you have bonded with 
and who have made an impact in your lives. It's sweet in that you have surrounded, been surrounded by these people who care so much about you and so much about your success. It's bitter to think about the uncertainty of the future, yet it's sweet to imagine the possibilities of the bright road ahead for you. It will be bitter in the fall when everyone will be heading off in many different directions, but sweet to be beginning your own journey and the path that lies ahead for you. So take a moment and look at your friends and soak in the happiness of today. For you, today is a last thing and a first thing. It's the last time you will sit together as a graduating class and a first step in your new life as a BHS graduate. Today may bring feelings of sadness, but also great joy. My hope for you is that you will remember your time at Beverly High and use what you've learned in the classroom and what you've learned from your fabulous teachers as well as what you've learned about life in general and use it wisely in the next chapter of your lives. And finally, to everybody who is here with you today, in the bleachers cheering you on, watching at home on BevCam, or in spirit from far away, you have been a support to these graduates that brought them to these seats. So cheers to all of you. And we are very proud of you, class of 2019, and look forward to watching you make your mark in the world. Be well and be safe. Congratulations from the school committee. Good afternoon, Dr. Hershey, Dr. Trocek, Mayor Cahill, President Silverstein, members of the school committee, and family and friends. Thank you for joining us at the commencement for the Beverly High School graduating class of 2019. To our graduating class, welcome to your graduation ceremony. Today is all about you, your struggles, your challenges, your accomplishments, your completion of a goal, the ending of a high school career. It's all about you, and you, and you, and you, and you. There's so many of you. There's so many individuals in this group. So many separate stories. I've been thinking of stories, beginnings, middles, and ends, because I've been deciding what will be my summer reading list, what books do I want to read, and what books should I read. And like so many other people, I was obsessed with the final scenes of Game of Thrones and how the story would end. Arya's killing of the Night King, Daenerys' destru oh, okay. <laughs> Daenerys' destruction of King's Landing, and Bran being chosen King of Westeros. Bran? I'm sorry, I hope I didn't spoil the ending for anybody. And I always think of the stories at graduation, because you're all part of the history of Beverly High School. Each one of you, each individual has contributed an episode, a page, to the tale of the Beverly High School class of 2019. It's a long story with many plot twists and turns, some slow-moving passages, some high drama, lots of colorful characters, and a hopeful but ambiguous ending. Everything isn't resolved neatly at the end of the story. There's definitely a sequel coming. You all have your own particular story to tell. You've had your struggles, your own personal dragons to face and battles to win. There have been times when you failed and you had to try again. There have been doubt and uncertainty when you had to face difficulty alone when you had to take a stand that was different from your peers, and you came to the realization that people don't always meet your expectations. You'd have moments of self-discovery, big reveals. You've learned what you can do, what you're good at. You've learned about the consequences of your mistakes, whether it's in a math equation, or a missed deadline, or even an unkind word or deed. You have had moments of comedy. You've been funny and witty and entertaining. You've played the clown and the fool. You've created moments of laughter and fond memories for others. 
And you've had your tragedies too. Loss of family and friends, and sometimes your own lost sense of self. Sacrifice of time and money and relationships and hopes. These events have shaped and changed you. You are a unique, compelling protagonist in an interesting story. As Tyrion Lannister said in the final episode, there's nothing in the world more powerful than a good story. And your story is part of an even grander epic, the story of our school, our city, our country, our world. Your story is intertwined with other people's lives. You have an impact on all our stories. Your parents and guardians have been very interested in your story ever since once upon a time a baby was born. They know the tales connected you from your first bedtime story, your first report card, your first time scoring in a game, your first sleepover, your first dance, your first heartbreak. They've watched you grow and change, and, that, and they know that we've come to a new development in the plot. In a good story, there's a point which the main character has to leave home and face the challenges of a new unknown world. That time is coming near and your parents know the role in, their sto in your story will change. Let's acknowledge a real cast of characters, your teachers, who've had an impact on your story that can't be accurately measured. They may be characters that appear briefly in the story to point the way, to offer advice, to give warning, to guard the portal or the hallway, to provide the magic potion that will help you succeed, but they are also people who have cared very much about how your story will turn out. The city of Beverly has been a backdrop for your tale, a city that has supported you by dedicating community resources to your growth and development. In many tales, after much adventure and experience, the main character returns home to share what he has learned with others. I hope you'll be able to return to Beverly to share your experience with the community. I would like to recognize the person who will be leaving us at this point in the narrative. You may know him either as a hero or a villain, depending on whether or not he calls a snow day. But he had a far bigger role in your story than you knew. Dr. Stephen Hershey is retiring after serving as superintendent for the Beverly Public Schools. We wish him well as he begins a new chapter in his life. I would like our audience to know that these young men and women have contributed so much to us already through their service, their skills, their ideas, and their questions. We are obligated to consider the impact each of us can have on their story and how we contribute to it. I like to ask different groups of students to stand to be recognized at graduation because I want people to see the variety of talents and interests these students have but I know full well that I always leave some important contributors out. So I ask the seniors to turn to the people near them, left and right, back and front, and wish each other a good story, a happy ending. Everyone lives happily ever after. <sighs> So let's tell the tale of the class of 2019 and take a look at some people in our story. This is a story of scholars, our National Merit Commended Scholars, our AP Commended Scholars, our John and Abigail Adams Scholarship recipients, our National Honor Society and our National Art Honor Society members. Please stand so we can celebrate your story. Thank you. The leaders who work to represent their classmates and be their voice, class officers, student council members, student representatives on school committee, climate committee, site council, team captains, junior ROTC officers, the stage managers and student directors and the drum majors, you're part of our story. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. We have our artists who express their view of the world through different mediums. Members of Aegis, Yearbook, Ledger, Stage Right, 
the art club, the media program, the chorus, the string ensemble, and the band. Please stand. Thank you. We have volunteers who've given service to the community, members of Key Club, the Animal Rights Club, the World of Difference, peer leaders, Junior ROTC, the Gender Sexuality Alliance, the Birthday Wishes Club, the DECA Service Projects, the Environmental Clubs, and Best Buddies. Would those members please stand? Thanks. And these are our students who've contributed many other ways to the life of our school. Our foreign exchange students who brought us a peek into the rest of the world. Could you please stand? Thank you. Our Panther Students of the Month who are recognized for the contribution to the life of the school. Would you please stand? There we go. Come on, be brave. <laughs> And finally, our students who will be joining the military after graduation. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. So, graduates, remember you have a story to tell and your story affects how our tale will turn out. I wish you adventure a bit of mystery and suspense, some poetry and romance, an interesting point of view, and a satisfying conclusion. I wish you the best of all the best. President Silverstein, I have the honor to present to you the 2019 graduating class of Beverly High School. Toscani Cesar Abreu. Robert Joseph Adams. Brian Agudella. Niall Mohammed Al Hamadani. Musa Hassan Al Khazali. Afnan Thamer Al Azawi. Declan Bradford Alexander. Rachel Lynn Allen. William Alvarado. Michael Scott Anderson. Grace Marie Athanas. Andrew Joseph Avila. Brooke Kathleen Bakey. Jairo De Jesus Baez. Michael Richard Ballantyne. Ryan Patrick Bearer. Mackenzie Anna Bauer. <laughs> Sabrina Mara Beaudry. <laughs> Jesse Baharaj. <laughs> Eva Bachiri. Jameson George Birchoff. Alexandra Rose Berg. Ahmed Mark Philip Borner. Romildo Brakash. 
Claudia Marie Brock. Yeah. Eleanor Phyllis Brown. Yeah. Jack Christopher Brown. Yeah. Stephen Daniel Brown. Christopher James Bryson. Dylan Nicholas Buell. Jordan Elizabeth Butters. Olivia Taylor Bird. Aiden Pinty Cahill. Maxwell Joseph Kalitri. Kyle Edward Kamara. Lily Grace Cameron. Brennan William Carlson. Joseph Gitano Carnavali. Elizabeth Grace Carpenter. Haley Elizabeth Carroll. Student Council Treasurer Eunice Shallaby. Anjali Destiny Chanda. Andrew James Chapman. Alexandria Lynette Chichi. Luke Sorelli. Lily Ann Clark. Mario Juan Clayton. Shane Patrick Corcoran. Student Council Representative Cody Sean Ace Corelli. Isaiah Antonio Cortijo. Megan Isabel Catrara. Andrew Theodore Coughlin. Joshua Robert Cripps. Phoebe Jordan Crumbine. Roberto James Cruz. Daniel Philip Cuoco. Zachary Aaron Curry. Kyler Von Ding. Tyler Dang. Kai Amel Davies. Hey, Kai. Danielle Marie Deacon. Colby James Delano. Emily Lynn DePiro. Amanda Violet Desmond. Natalie Kate Devitt. <laughs> Student Council President Rory Maine Devlin. Knock <laughs> Bao Din. <laughs> Stacy Nicole De Palma. <laughs> Evan Thomas Dobrosowski. Heather Nicole Doyon. Crystal Lauren Drinkwater. Hannah Elizabeth Duguid. Spencer Briggs Hogan Dunbar. 
Seamus Christopher Dunn. Stephanie Taylor Eaton. Christina Lee Echeverria. Anna Angela Edson. Mariana Teresa Ellis. Alexandra Marie Enos. Angela Nicole Everett Godfrey. Samantha Dodge Fafard. Luke David Fidrich. Laurel Hartman Fielder. Zoe Ann Fisher. Ashley Elizabeth Foley. Megan Danielle Foley. Taviana Annabelle Francis Cato. Rachel Olivia Frazier. Simone Alicia French. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Fushoni. <laughs> Stephanie Barbara Gagnon. <laughs> Mary Grace Galanti. <laughs> Emma Jane Gallagher. Jessica Elizabeth Gallo. <laughs> Elizabeth Apot Garang. <laughs> Cassie Rose Garboski. <laughs> Chanel Rose Gassam. Sean Joseph Gavin. Eden Francis Gadangoni. McKenna Lee Gelsamini. Student Council Secretary Thomas Joseph George. Soraya Monet Gibbons. Thomas Clayton Gibney. Yeah. Matthew Robert Golan. Jack James Gano. Victoria Elizabeth Goff. Trinity Charlotte Granger. Cameron Michael Greenwald. Savannah Hope Greer. Alana Lee Guy. Caden Connor Hale. Zachary Sanson Hall. Stephen Christopher Hallinan. Connor Leonard Hanlon. Darling Hernandez. Marshaline Hernandez. Kyle James Hewson. Eric Michael Higgins. Yeah. 
Joshua Stephen Hildreth. Dini Hiracule. Jack Carlton Hoyt. Amanda Elizabeth Hufford. Helen Bernice Hurley. Evan Tyler Husson. Matthew Raymond Joden. Salutatorian Catherine Ann Johnson. Judith Margaret Johnson. Amanda Nicole Juma. Ian Joseph Kane. Madison Teresa Keo. Isabel Alice Kelly. Ryan Dale Keeve. Colton Douglas Kimball. Claire Elizabeth Knott. Kaylee Lynn Cochian. Corey Ulrich LaFontant. Megan Elizabeth Waller. Megan Nancy Lear. Thomas David Layton. Valedictorian Nathan Tyler Levin. Katerina Patrice Lederbach. Mateus Lisboa Guedes. Nicole Rebecca Lewengraf. Maxwell James Lucas. Neve Elizabeth Lyons. Miles Robert McInnes. Tola Joy McInnes. Dylan Ryan McIsaac. Travis Lee McPhail. Nicholas Reed Maker. Alice Marianne Malguera. Taya Jordan Mannon. Amanda May Mariano. Melanie Lauren Mason. Michaela Janet Mason. Natalie Ann Matthews. Clayton Allen McAlpine. Connor 
William McCormack. Sophie Heigel McGarrigal. Abigail Elizabeth McGovern. Adam Doran McIntosh. Lena Grace Albanese Mar. Xavier Allen Medeiros. Josephine Anna Marie Miller. Matthew David Miller. Christopher James Mills. Ian Thomas Morris. Nicholas Dominic Morrissey. Ivan Carter Mott. Abby Lynn Elizabeth Muse. Catherine Evie Mulligan. Emmett Norris Mullins. Rachel Riley Mullins. Pauline Junga Mulumba. Anna Josephine Murphy. Caroline Genevieve Murphy. Taishaya Destiny Neat. Emily Rose Megron. Genet Dawit Neka. Fi Tang Win. <laughs> Vanessa Niamoko. <laughs> Remy Aaron Normand. <laughs> Cara Alicia Ann Norris. Marley Ann Norton. Wisvaldo Alexis Pagan. Chloe Mara Panico. Student Council Vice President Elizabeth Platt. Panico. <laughs> Joseph John Paracella. Patrick James Parsons. Savon Cleo Ward Parsons. Samantha Elizabeth Peavy House. Fernanda? Maria Fernanda Peguero. Edwin Erickson Pena. Axel Miguel Perez. William Harold Peterson. Cameron Richard Petricioni.
Colton James Petrosino. Tu An Fun. Macy Lee Pierce. Molly Henderson Pierce. Jessica Yahiris Pimentel Soto. Gisla. Oh. <laughs> Gianna Gisla Pisa. Julia Diane Pittman. Emily Ann Pratt. Corinne Taylor Proctor. Is that? Zet Saeed Rajab. Dea Rami. Kyle Henry Reddy. Benjamin, Benjamin Timothy Reinwald. I keep fucking up. John Thomas Renda. Hey, Jeff. Sandra Rich. Mariella Joy Robinson. Felicia May Rojas. Olivia Rose Sala. Natalie Delamonica Sampson. Cameron H. Schlegel. Ariana Rege Scott. Jackson Dean Scott. Grant Jack Sellers. Yeah, Grant Sellers. Woo! Mason Lucy Selly. Jacqueline Page Serino. William Henry Shaw. Andrew John Shea. Zoe Sedaris. Caitlin Abigail Singer. Rondeep Singh. Foster Robert Smallman. Lucy Elizabeth Smallman. Elisa May Smith. <laughs> Justin Thomas Smith. Serena Gail Smith. Enrique Vieira Souza. Deja Marie Stallings. <laughs> Shelby Ann Savis. Lydia Dara Steigers. Natalie Lynn Stillwell. Harrison Wayne Stott. Isabel Ann Stuckert. Merrick Rain Talbot. Woo! Emily Virginia Tanzella. Nicolette Margaret Tatro. Lucian Camu Thomas Vickery. Clevi Toramani. 
Richard Iverson Torres. Arbisa Trebika. Lacey Sue Ellen Turin. William Tomlinson Ullman. Sarah Elizabeth Jewel Vallette. Ashley May Vincent. Bryce Theodore Visnick. Let's go, Bryce. <laughs> Alba Ward. Woo! Leroy Damian Washington. <laughs> Emily Ann Wetson. <laughs> Aubrey Ray Whitaker. Angelica Zavala. Emily Lauren Zeff. The treasurer of the class of 2019, George Patrick Fox. The secretary of the class of 2019, Colin Thomas Maloney. The vice president of the class of 2019, Samuel John Biggis. And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, the president of the class 2019, Beatrice Sweepy Crocker. Yeah. 